Hello everybody, this is uh, Edmund 20MDO in Portsmouth. I've come down here today with uh, the handheld with uh, a nice little 2 meter antenna on it, the AC VX170 on the other end. And And I've come down to Portsmouth because there's a sale on, a reopening sale in the local computer warehouse over there. And I'm now out in their car park where there's a reasonably clear... Looking forward to talking to the students at the Marconi uh, High School. I am ready for the questions. Over. And that's the International Space Station which is up there somewhere. Reasonably good takeoff in all directions. And it's been well advertised this, they're talking to a school. Question, everybody is a little bit different. Uh, you know, I, I, I am fortunate that I do not get a lot of spatial disorientation, but it does take take a little bit of time, and every once in a while things will, uh, will kind of catch you, just like they do on Earth, where something looks wrong and it's a little bit of a surprise and your body will, uh, will tense up and react a little bit to that disorientation. Over. So this has been well advertised. Uplink we can't hear from Italy on 145200, but we can hear the downlink on 145. Our, our main computers that run the space station have been built with that care, and they're in special uh, you know, containers to help protect them uh, some from the environment up here, mostly a radiation uh, problem. A lot of what is on board, though, is actually laptop computers, much like you can buy at the store, with very few changes. Are almost no changes, and they they do have some problems and have to be restarted more often than on the ground because of the uh, the radiation affects the memory and the uh, the circuits. Over. We can't hear the questions going up, but we can hear the answers coming back, and I guess we can work the questions out from the answers. I'm sure that on the internet somewhere there's a list. Oh, great insight! Great question. The uh, Luca, the the recycling system is not self-sufficient. Um, we, we do reclaim uh, about uh, about 70% of our water is reclaimed from waste. Uh, we, can, we can collect 100% of the condensate from the air conditioning system, uh, and about 70% of, uh, of the urine uh, is reprocessed and turned back into drinking water. We use some of this water that's reclaimed to make oxygen, uh, but once it's made into oxygen, there's no way to reclaim that. We, dump that overboard as waste carbon dioxide, uh, and so there's really no recycling of oxygen. We do turn some of the water into oxygen, but it's real hard to, to uh, do uh, anything other than that. Great question. Over. I would guess that the antenna is pointing roughly east-west, and I'm sort of holding it so it's uh, horizontally polarized to meet the signals coming in from the ISS. Scientists are working the uh, the AMS very closely that uh, Roberto Rubatori was involved with, and it is they're making uh, measurements every day. It was designed to find these and measure these uh, cosmic particles, and they are seeing evidence of these every day. Uh, unfortunately, that particular experiment lives outside on the space station, and the crew has very little uh, actions with the, that experiment. And so I have not been able to uh, uh, stay with the news of all of the work that they're doing with that right now. Over. Now this handheld is a couple of years old. I think I paid uh, about a hundred pounds for it. No, uh, I, I am, you know, both an engineer and scientist and the commander uh, of the space station right now. So our job is to, you know, safely take care of the space station. Uh, to keep the systems running and cleaned and, and uh, repaired in good shape, as well as helping with the experiments. And some of that is uh, very intensive, where it's very hands-on, where we're doing the work, and a lot of just changing the sample where the scientists on the ground do the work. It's an amazing adventure. Over. But you could use one of the modern Chinese handhelds that costs to 30, 40 pounds to receive the space right, station. Where I am... Uh, a research subject for uh, bone and muscle loss studies, and these have a direct application to uh, on Earth, where these.
process, particularly the loss of bones, occurs very quickly. I am you know, doing a combination of, of medicine to minimize the bone loss up here, as well as exercise uh, prescription that is uh, very is different from what astronauts have done in the past. I'm the first test subject for this experiment. And this will be also beneficial to people on the ground with poor health and even for young people to help them attain uh, better health and maintain you know, good uh, practices for the, uh, their whole lives to stay healthier. Over And you don't need a particularly wonderful antenna. This is one specially made for the two meter. Uh, that's a great question. We do what we do like right at this moment as I'm looking out of the window as we're heading over Germany right now towards to uh, Berlin, if I'm not mistaken. I love looking at the uh, at the planet below time at night time, and uh, particularly to see Italy at night. It is such a uh, beautiful sight. So you don't need a huge specialist antenna or anything. Starting to lose them a little bit now. I'll try moving around to see if I can uh, get better. Starting to lose them. What a pity. Well, I think that's it. We're not going to hear a lot more. They've gone out of range, but um, I imagine that noise there is interference from something nearby on the uh, industrial estate probably but um, I'm sure if you want to hear the whole um, conversation there will be other videos on YouTube either that people have made on the ground uh, or maybe even a recording from the International Space Station and will be released onto the internet in due course but uh, anyway I hope you found this video of interest because um, of all the videos on my channel it's uh, the two I've got well, three now, if you count this one, uh, of receiving the International Space Station that uh, seem to draw the most views. So, it, just to prove to anybody out there who was thinking about trying to receive the International Space Station and th thinking to themselves, oh, I need really, um, really expensive high-tech equipment um, or really big, powerful Yagi antennas or anything like that, you don't really. Um, a Yagi with uh, gain on it and directional properties would uh, undoubtedly have helped but uh, when it's in range rather than uh, on the fringes you certainly don't need anything particularly special because uh, what I've got here is, is nothing special at all so there we are if I can do it I reckon just about anybody ought to be able to so best wishes to you from uh, a car park in sunny Portsmouth southern United Kingdom and uh, enjoy whatever bit of radio you enjoy. Enjoy uh, your radio. It's a wonderful hobby. Uh, best wishes from Portsmouth for now.